felt the need to also do a whole uh, broadcast and to repeat the denials that he has made over a period of time. What is Okujeto saying that is not factual? Thank you very much, Samson. <coughs> um, and thank you for the opportunity to just highlight a couple of points. Mm. I, I will restrain myself strictly to responding to the facts and facts as they relate to the management of lands by the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources and by the Lands Commission. Now, before the break, you made a point which I want to start from that angle, and that is the fact that the expose or so-called expose by the Honorable Member has led to some policy directive. That is not correct. This policy directive started as far back as 2021. In fact, it started immediately when this minister came into office. Now, if you read Article 2, uh, 2582 of the Constitution, it says the minister responsible for lands and natural resources may, with the approval of the president, so first of all, we needed the approval of the president before we could issue these policy directives to the Lands Commission. And so the process started immediately, he came to office, wrote to the office of the president, made some presentations to the office of the president before the approval was given. And the first letter that was written was in 2021, August 17th. That was long before these matters came up. And so it is not as if it is what he is doing that has led to some of these policies. These policies had always been in place and it's been, it's been implemented all along. Now, to the, to the specific matters about the Bulgarian embassy. And senior, you and I, you know that when you have a document, you have to do a document in full to understand. The Honorable Member makes a lot of allegations about fraudulent, fraudulent, fraudulent. If you read the entirety of the report, which he has, and today I'm happy he said that uh, when he wrote, we didn't give him. The last time he was here, he said we didn't respond to his letter. And in fact, I actually brought a copy of the letter, our response to, to his lawyers. Which is which just but you didn't give that, I said you but we didn't give no the, give the last time you said we didn't respond to your letter that was that was no, no, no. that was what you said on news for the last time which we refuted that we responded except that we gave you reasons why we couldn't give you the report so that's it what reason it was, was that? an unhelpful response what I said that, that I want the report publish the report what what what, what, what the was the reason interest. and you the, refused to. the reason the reason we gave him was the fact that the report there were two reasons first of all it's a matter bordering on diplomatic mission. So it borders on Ghana's international relations. That is number one. And, and, and under the ITI law, such matters are exempt from the ITI, from disclosure. And number two, the report contains, the, the, in fact, the sole inquiry noted that there are three cases pending in court. And some of the witnesses, so-called witnesses in this case, were interviewed. And the case are still pending. <coughs> and so to avoid prejudice, we decided to hold on to the report. Because, in fact, the... the, the, the the executive summary of the report, which was published, contains all the findings of the, of the Sewer Inquirer. Mm. If you read the report, about 100 pages of it is actually the evidence of witnesses. And it is that evidence of the witnesses which we said because of the matters pending in court. Okay, so let's, let's get back. Let's so, get so, back. So, so back to the, back to the uh, main issue. But because, the main because issue. I'm a crusader for the RTI, yeah. I am always uncomfortable when people say uh, there is an exemption yeah. When the exemption is not blanket, very well. If the public interest yeah. outweighs that is correct. The, the the danger you you suspect, that is the correct. law says you have to disclose that, it, even if it is exempt. That is correct. All right. So let, let me just add mm. that. In fact, in our response to him, mm. we told him that because of these reasons and because of the point you have raised, we had written to the AG for advice on it as to whether we could go ahead to release. Okay. That is in the response we gave to him. You are still waiting so, for so the that, so that's reply. That, Let, let's go so, on. Let's, so, let's so, on. Now, so now, now, now the report. Now, now, mm. now, now on the report. Yeah. The so inquiry's findings of fraudulent was against Mr. Jojo Hagan. Not against the last commission. Jojo Hagan, Jojo Hagan being the one who inherited the land from is Mr. It, his father or whoever his, it was. Mr. Mr. Lighton. Right. If you read... Paragraph 6.13, it said it was found out that Mr. Lighton had acted fraudulently by getting the land registration division of the Lands Commission to cancel the Bulgarian embassy's interest in the land. So the findings of fraud was not against the Lands Commission. And he himself read a, a paragraph which said that the Lands Commission was not diligent. That was, what, that was, that was the sole inquiry's way, yes. that the Lands Commission was not diligent. Hmm. But you see, let me just use that to explain a little bit. 
when you go to when you go to court and you get a judgment like the the court of appeal judgment that cancelled or that will uh, set aside the high court judgment you need to plot it and lands commission for them to have it on their record if you do not plot it they will have it so the first high court judgment which was set aside by the high court was actually plotted in the lands commission's records but the court of appeal decision up to date as we speak is still not plotted so the lands commission when these documents were presented had the high court judgments there and there was an order for them to cancel, which they, which they complied with. And so, the, 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 yes, the, the so and Kora found that, that the, the High Court, the last commission was not diligent. But he never said that they acted fraudulently. Is government the going to be liable? The, it, no. The so and Kora support is very clear. On the, last, on, on the last recommendation, which the Honorable Member read, and it says that Mr. Duke Zoyga should be sanctioned and made mm. to, to compensate the Bulgarian Embassy. Mm. So the person liable for the compensation is Mr. Dodo Hogan, not government. What do you understand by he should be sanctioned? Sanctioned by who? What sort of sanction? So, so the, the report included allegations of fraud against him. Mm -hmm. And so in the press release which we released after the report was published, we noted clearly that we had written to the AG to take up the issue of fraud. We can't prosecute fraud. It is, it is within the remit of... So, there is, so there is crime. Yeah. Yes. The, the, That's the, been hinted at. Exactly. A criminal offence. Exactly. And then we are threatening to the AG to take that up because that is out of our remit. We cannot. And the whole government can't find this guy for two years. Well, well, well. I as to whether they have found him or not, I'm as a city, I have no idea about that. Okay. But the 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 if you read the report, I'm asking that because as we understand, the Bulgarians are saying that if you can't find a person, then you have to sort of liquidate the compensation like, like, to them. You must pay. No, like you said in the last in mm. the last press release we released, there act, there's actually a committee mm. uh, from Lands Commission, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, mm. which are dealing with these matters. Okay. They've settled the no compensation. They have, what is what is left is the process for the payment. And, we, we are very and who's, who's going to pay that? From, from the report, it is very clear that Mr. Dudujika is supposed to pay. So you, can, no you, can't find, you can't find him, there so who's going to pay? There has been pay? no indication to us that Mr. Dohega is not going to pay this compensation. But you can't find so it. So we are, we are very clear in our mind. Okay. We are very clear now. And I have the committee's report here. Mr. Joe Dohegan is going to pay. 5.3 million. Yes, yes. yes. But we, when, when we responded to your press, we admitted the figure. It's not as if... It, but what, what the point we were trying, seeking to make was that it's not a liability of government. That was, a, that was all the point we saw. Yeah, but you must that find Joe Dohegan. Yeah, but, that, but, but I'm saying that the, the compensation has been settled on. Mm. The process for the payment is ongoing. There's mm. a committee in place which is dealing specifically with that matter. All right. Now... So, 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 so that is it. And, and, and in fact, and then he mentions he mentions one doctor, Edu Ampoma. If you read page eleven of the report, it says with the emphatic admissions regarding the eviction of the so-called trespassers and the demolition of the promises by Mr. Judo Hagan, the dispute as to who actually did so is finally settled. On the evidence available, the admissions exonerate the developer, Dr. Edu Ampoma, of any blame. And so there's, there's nothing that, as we sit here, we can actually do against Mr. Mr. Dr. Uh, Dr. Dr. Edu Ampoma. Because the, the report himself is referring to exonerates him and says that Mr. Dodo Hagan should be sanctioned, which is what the process we are, we are following to deal with that. that, that, that he refers to Dr. Edu Ampoma yes. because he's a politically exposed person. I, I, I don't know him. And, and, and he benefits I have, from I have, I have no, I, have, I don't know him. He came but, to But from, 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 from the report, from the report, the demolition was done. In fact, it was subsequent to the demolition that he acquired the property. And that is why the Suho Enquirer actually exonerates him. I don't know him. I don't know. He acquired after, it after the demolition. After the demolition. That is true. So it's not that he was lurking around no, and he's the one who the, instigated the, the demolition. The Suho Enquirer says that mm. it was after the demolition that the uh, Dojo Hagan assigned the residue of his interest okay. to Dr. <coughs> Dr. Dr. Right. Grandpa. Okay. Now, the, the, the issue, I, I see that we are looking at the time. Yes. There, there are a couple of other issues mm. raised, which mm. I want to respond to briefly. The issue about the Parks and Gardens Land Act. The last commission doesn't do rezoning. That is solely in the remit of the LUSPA, which is under the uh, local government. Yeah. And so the processes that they go through to rezone, last commission is not involved. But when, they when they have rezoned the land, then based on that, they, then the land commission can make some allocations for certain developments. And so as to whether the LUSPA complied with the law for rezoning or they didn't comply with the law, that is actually out of our remit. Mm. But we have been informed, the land commission was informed by the, by the, the uh, regional LUSPA in Upper West Region that this particular area has been rezoned and, gave, and specifically gave approval 
for the construction of a filling station. Mm. And it was based on this <coughs> that the that the, the, the Lands Commission went ahead to give the, the lease that, that, to that, that, But you you will understand <laughs> you will understand you, will understand, you understand Okuje to somewhat mm -hmm. uh, that yes this is paperwork yeah. but we have known situations where the zoning policy for a particular area yeah. overnight changes yeah. because one politically exposed person yeah. wants to have access to yeah. a particular portion or has gotten a portion but cannot use it for the purpose for which he has gotten it. And suddenly, there's a rezoning. Senior, yeah. like and in like, addition like, to like that, a, they didn't comply all, all with the law. They didn't and come to parliament. Like, like, like I indicated from the beginning, I am restricting myself to the facts. I understand you. Which are within mm. the remit of the mm. Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources and okay. the Lands Commission. Mm. I, I can't go into the intent, intentment of other people and all those stuff. Mm. But what I'm saying but is... But don't you have a what duty, I, what don't you have a duty to check? What if what I'm, what I'm tells that, you that we have rezoned, don't you have a duty to check if they have... If they have actually reasoned, mm. if they follow the process. Yeah. See, now you are now aware that official acts are presumed to have been properly done. Unless you have contrary evidence, when Luspa writes to us that they have reasoned this area, why should we go and question Luspa? Do you have the Luspa letter? Yes, I have the Luspa letter. I have the Luspa letter here. I'm here. I have, I have the Luspa letter. I have the Lus yeah, because you see, there, I, I don't question your intention. Your intention uh, how about, how about the, very, how about the, how about the Dubao, uh, the war, the war Dubao Center? Center. I, don't know. I, I was asking you to, for him to read the title of the document he's reading. I am not privy to. Okay. The Lands Commission is the repository of lands. The AG doesn't sign land uh, transfer of deeds. The foreign minister doesn't sign transfer of deeds. When you are given a, a lease of a public land, it says the, the president of the Republic of Ghana, acting by the chairman of the Lands Commission, or an official of the Lands Commission. The Lands Commission says they do not even have an application. They do not even have an application for a transfer of that particular land, as we speak. That document you are referring to, it can be a deed of transfer of the land. It can't be. So, if it, so if it is, is as far as yes, yes. if it is an arrangement as, between some parties, as far as your ministry, as far as your ministry is concerned, that land is still intact. There's no issue of state capture in any of the uh, matters he has raised. Not, not at all. In fact, and, and in fact, that is that is that is the point that we sought to make. He he and, and strictly restricting ourselves to the issues of the lands that he raised. For example, the issue about the cantonments. Cantonments uh, passing guard last year. The, the, I have the deed of, uh, the, the deed of uh, convenience here. Dated, dated 20, 2016. And, and, and he says that his checks indicate that they, are, they were not paid. That can't be true. And, and the person has give, changed. No, yes. Before you give, before you give a land, let me address, and I'll address your point. Before the, the, you are given a public land, they give an allocation. The allocation contains conditions about how much you should pay and everything. Until you will pay that, Lands Commission will never execute a deed for you. Until you make that payment, Lands Commission will never execute a deed for you. That's true. And so it can be true that they have issued a deed when it has not been paid. Payment was made, and it was based on that payment that the deed was issued. So those who are saying that to him are misleading. They're, 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 okay. they're, they're obviously so, misleading. So how come, and the same, so how come, and the same, how come in 2021, yeah. the Ministry for Local Government and Rural Development went yeah. to that same location so, to so, build a five-story? So, so let me explain this. A five-story building. Okay, very quickly. Let me explain that. Let me explain this letter. Right, Sammy, 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 I gave you all the letter. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead and explain. The land at the Parks and Gardens lands at Cantonments is more than two acres. It is only two acres of this that was granted to this company. And so the other portions of the land, which are over 10 acres, is still there. The Ministry of Local Government could have gone there to develop the other part of the land, mm. not, necessarily this particular land mm. not necessarily this particular land. Okay. So the fact that the Ministry wanted to go and build something there is mm. not, it's not as if it was on that specific but, land. But okay. are, you aware? Now, let me, let, talk, are you aware? Let me respond to you. Hold on. Hold on. Sammy, hold on. Sammy, hold on. Sammy, hold on. Sammy, hold on. And quickly do in two minutes for me. I need Nanaya and Dr. Tio Champo at least to have a minute's commentary. Yeah. Ah, but that uh, will be uh, on first something. Uh, yes, quick. I also have some responses to that. Yes, I, I understand you can do a minute. Conclude. Yes. So, mm. so, 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 the, so the point and, 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 and uh, the last portion, he, he, I mean, the last matter he mentioned is the issue about the, what do you call it? The judges' bagulus. That I, have also, I also have the deed here. Before that, the issue about uh, I, Ike something something, which mm. he mentioned. Yeah, Danny Ike. Danny. Yes, Dan, Danny Ike I have here. An application by the Wintrim people dated 6 January 2020. Sorry, 6 January 2017. 6 January 2017, before this government came to power. 
since January. And it was granted for, that day. No, they applied for consent to to transfer this land to this Dania people. And the Lands Commission granted granted the, the, the consent. Yeah, so he raised the issue of the transfer. So, yeah, so, and it was not done within this government. That's the point you are making. Exactly. In January, exactly. on the 6th of exactly. January, before and, the 7th yes. of January. Yeah. Okay. And, then, and, then, and, then, and then the issue about the, the, the judges' bungalows. I mean, that, that must have been, we've tried to restrain ourselves from going to the table because it's, it's, it's a matter of in courts. Court. Okay. The, the CJ himself have taken mm. interest to try, All right. try and resolve the okay. matter. But the, Thank but the you. fact mm. remains that the land was granted in 2015. Okay. And when he's making a demand for the minister to publish, he's making a demand for the minister to publish the list yes. of the yes, we'll be making this demand. allocations. Yes. When is he going to do that? We were, we were before his committee, the assurance committee, yeah. just a couple of weeks ago. Right. And, and, and in fact, this same matter came up. And we've assured him that the, 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 it, it is, you see, You've been assuring us since 3rd February. February. No, no. When, are <laughs> when are you going no. to do it? When are you going to do it? So, so, that, so, that, so the assurance the minister gave to the committee, and I believe is the same thing, which, which I can repeat here, mm. is the fact that the team at Lands Commission is putting the thing together. Right. They say because it is manual. Mm. It